the factory rat it's Craig I'm here at the uh, model factory and we're gonna do a update on our big rig group build uh, hosted by Jeff at Jeff's model garage one of our favorite group builds of the year thanks Jeff um, also want to do a, um, I got some new, uh, kits. Took a trip to Dean's this last week, so I'll show you some of those. That's some good stuff. Um, and I have, uh, I'm going to do a, we're going to do a kit giveaway. Uh, I forgot, we got over 400 subscribers now, so I'm going to celebrate by, uh, giving, a, giving all these models away here in the, in the stash room, so I don't know which ones yet. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a pile, and if you're interested in uh, getting a chance to win a model kit, uh, stick around to the end of this video. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what you got to do. Put in the comments. So um, here we go. Let's get this done. Um, <clears throat> we're doing this. Uh, International Transstar cab over 4070A AMT, the old uh, Ertl engineered kit, and uh, they redid it. It is awesome. Great kit. I uh, highly recommend it. Let's get the factory rat out of here. There we go. And uh, I'm doing, I'm going to do the. Uh, bronze on this truck and we're gonna do we're going with the uh, five star five spoke wheels I did I kind of wanted to delete some of the chrome off this rig make it look a little tougher and uh, so that's that's what we're doing let me see what's going on with my light here okay I guess that's it all right, um, beautiful tires on this truck. Uh, we did the shocks and uh, a matte uh, cherry red. I like painting uh, frames on these, uh, same color as the, the truck, and then you know, kind of breaking it up a little bit, getting a little custom. Um, we got their we got our Detroit diesel in here, all built up. Do a little bit of weathering on it so far. Um, rusted up our exhaust a little bit, a little bit on the radiator. Got an air cleaner on there. Um, I'm stripping the tanks right now because I want to, I want to do a little minimal chrome on this, this one this time. So we're going to paint the tanks. I don't know. This is, uh, this color is, uh, bronze. I think I see that already. But um, give you a quick look at it. Let's flip it over. Uh, yeah, it's bronze and black. I think that looks good together with the red international red engine. So yeah, let's move this over. We got a lot to show you and a lot to do in this video. So if it's a little long, I apologize. Um, I'm going to put... Uh, here's the bronze, bronze. Here's the color we used, real quick. Bronze. Uh, it's uh, extreme lacquer from Testers. Uh, I'm not that impressed with it. It's okay, but um, a little rough. Also got. Uh, I might do this again. It's got a little. Uh, Little line right there. Let me see that. Little line right here in the on the metallic. I don't know what what happened there. Just the way it gassed out, or the way it was laid on, or it overlapped, or something. Well, it's kind of a bummer, but um, I do like the color though. I'm gonna have to you know, probably sand it down. And I I cut the rear window out of this truck. So I'm going to have to come up with a, making a window for the back. 
there was a panel in there. Um, so, and I, I, f I found this here in one of my parts boxes, the airfoil or what do they call those things back in the day? The truck drivers will know. It's got the, I had to, um, this thing was all busted up in pieces and some of the bracket was missing and the ram was missing and so I had to. Uh, I spent a bunch of time working on this thing the other night, but um, I think it'll be nice. It'll be worth it, I think, in the long run. I think that's kind of cool on there. So that'll be uh, that'll be a little custom something we're adding. Here's our interior tub, and since this is a interior tub, I it comes. I had to cut the back window out of this too, so we can see through there. But it'll be nice. Be able to see a little more access to the uh, to the interior. I got my door door handles and window cranks on there. Sun visors are on. These door panels are pretty cool. There's a nice detail to them. The interior color is. Oops, drop something. It's a Krylon. It's a sand dollar, I believe. It's a matte. Yeah, matte sand dollar. I'll pick that up at uh, we picked that up at uh, Michael's the other day. Get these paints out of the way. <clears throat> Here's a look at my interior. Let's see here. Did a little brown on the on the rivets and the the tie back on the. Little piece right there closes off the uh, sleeper. I did brown on my seats, painted my floor black. Let's get this in here. Let's see if we can get a little extra light in here. Um, I just did this wood grain just a little while ago. I painted that on there. We still got to do our silver. Uh, we did silver around the gauges. We still got to paint our gauges for our instrument cluster too. But we got the little decal. I'll give you a little decal for, with the controls on the center console right there. So that's coming along nice. Let's see here. There's a little better look at the, the color with a little better light on it. Bronze, bronze and black. So that's what we're going with. A little chrome, not too much. I think I'm gonna build, start building this trailer too. Don't hold me to it, but uh, I think we're gonna do this. I haven't seen anybody else build this trailer, so I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not. It's got the post, and it's got the version where it's kind of split up, where you can do the you can do the compact city van. Or you can add the whole thing together. It comes with the pallets and everything. Pretty heavy little box. I don't know how it's going to be to piece this uh, trailer together. It's kind of like in two, pe two parts. So We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Next update probably. Let me set this down. So it don't get messed up. Let me get my truck out of the way. Okay. Ugh. Sorry about that. Let's start off with stash ads. We're going to start off with these planes. The plane, the plane. That old joke. Okay, check this out. Get this thing to focus here. Roden. Look at that artwork. Awesome. I like these little kits. Uh, I'm going to... I built uh, I built this little dude before. And it was it was fun, cool little cool little model, same 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 kit, same company. And I want to build a few of these up, do a little mobile, little thing to hang on the ceiling, build a bunch of these little planes. Two dollars I paid for that at uh, Dean's on the on the table. It's uh it's all in there, it's all sealed. So that was a good deal. We got this uh. Tommy U.S. Uh, Brewster Buffalo. 
This one's good. The decals are just kind of all messed up, so I'll have to work around the decals, but it was uh, 10 bucks for that. Uh, so yeah, 148 scale. So that's cool. We'll get some decals for that somewhere, some way. We got this guy here, Hobbycraft. It's a big plane, but it's a 172nd scale. Pretty cool. Old sub hunter. And I paid four dollars for this guy. It started slightly. A few parts are painted. Um, decals that look look great in there. So yeah, we'll we'll take that one all day long. That's awesome. And we got uh got a couple big planes here these are both ten dollars both Hasegawa kits we got the zero fighter Mitsubishi awesome box art nice big scale was this a 135th I think 32nd 32nd scale okay molded in green looks great ten bucks awesome uh, another another big Hasegawa kit, the P51D Mustang. Beautiful. This also, I guess, was done with Minicraft also. So that looks nice. I'll take that for ten bucks. Thank you very much. All right, let's go into. Oh, we'll do some more mili We'll do some military stuff, since. Uh, Everybody's all excited about jumping into World War III these days. Let's see. This is 15 bucks. We got a Bronco. Um, this is a radio car. It's pretty neat. It's got, this is the antenna part of the, the vehicle. And it comes with a bunch of radio equipment in the back. So 135th scale. It comes with photo etch. And it's a nice nice kit. Um, I got a deal on this thing, I think. Let me know. 15 bucks. Looks to be all there to me. And I got this Academy. It's like with this armored personnel carrier. Um, I paid 20 bucks for this dude. Kind of need to get some more tanks and some more stuff like that. So, twenty bucks. I thought that was a good deal. And they had a sale on dragon kits, and uh, they had this big uh, Arab Su one hundred tank destroyer. It's got a huge gun on it. It's uh, it was an expensive kit. It was like sixty nine bucks, but with the twenty percent off, brought it down. What about 55? It's got some nice photo etch. And it looks like some nice details. I looked at it. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Nice dragon kit. Some nice parts in here. So need to get some more tanks for my for my collection because I want to start getting into tanks. I didn't have too much. Um let's go through cars. Got a few cars, we're almost done. Hang in there. Tomato, tomato, tomaya, tomato, whatever it is. Tamia, Tamia. Ferrari. Open wheel Ferrari race car. The Grand Prix. Paid $26 for this. So that's cool. I don't, I don't have too many of these uh open wheel uh racers so this is kind of interesting to me besides I got a um, something I might need this for coming up this next year and we picked up the old classic AMT Ertl 67 Shelby GT 350 paid 15 bucks for that brand new sealed in the box Last but not least, check this 
out. 1928 Mercedes Type SS. You know, I love those Mercedes. Long hood. Mini Craft Academy kit. This is a 1 16th scale. I noticed looking in this box, this hood comes with real metal hinges. The, the, um, the spokes, you have to build them yourself. It's like you have to lace the wheels with the, uh, the little uh, the little uh, tool to help you lace the wheels. So I've never done that before, so that ought to be, that'd be interesting to doing that. I know that's pretty tough to do, but it's kind of cool uh, the way the tops, all the different tops. And the hood opens up and hinges and the doors open and and I only paid uh paid 35 bucks for this. So I was happy to find that. The only thing that was weird with this kid is that, I'm not gonna open it right now. But uh, the chrome in this kid is actually like a gold or a brass bronze color. So it's like a brass color, so that's a little strange. Um but I guess either we can re re chrome it or we can uh, we can leave it as it is. I don't know. We'll see how it goes once we get ready to build it. <clears throat> okay. Um, if you want to get in on the uh, the giveaway, um, just go in the comments and say uh, I'm in. I want on the list, and uh, I'll put your name on the list. I'm gonna let it run for a little while. Uh, um, we'll let it go till the 5th of May. You got till the 5th of May to get in. Um, and I'll probably do the drawing on the 6th or that, that weekend in May there. Uh, so after the 5th, so as soon as I can. And, uh, I'll, I'll ship anybody in the world. I know some uh, people out of out of country. We'll do one one gift or one uh, one kit give away one kit. I'll have I'll get a little pile of uh, kits that uh, you could win uh, next next time we do a video on the uh, giveaway. Um, I'll put some numbers on each kit so you, it'll be easy. You can pick whichever number you want. We'll do one 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 kit. For a one winner, so so if you want in, uh, just say uh, put, put me on the list, and uh, we'll do a drawing. So I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Um, everybody take care. Thanks. Bye.